Hi everyone. I received an e not an email, a message or a comment on my channel regarding what sort of foundation would I recommend for those with dry skin. A drugstore foundation at that. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to review some of the drugstore foundation that I've used uh, recently. I would let you all know my uh, opinions on some of the foundations. So the foundation that I'm featuring today is um, the Super Bablish Balm Triple Functions. This is a BB cream from Skin79. This one is the Stay Matte Foundation from Rimmel. Um, it says here up to 12 hours natural shine control mine is in 200 soft beige the next one is the lasting finish foundation 16 hours transfer resistance and this is also from Rimmel mine is in 202 new I've never used L'Oreal foundation uh, because I think I've used it once I think a long time ago but I wasn't that happy with the coverage I wasn't that happy with the formula um, so I didn't go back to L'Oreal I have tried the I think it was the Revlon uh, foundation a long time ago as well and I really didn't like it as well Revlon foundation is very expensive uh, for a drugstore product um, so I don't really like that um, if I want to find some drugstore uh, foundations I would want a cheaper one but if you want it to be expensive make sure that it is of good quality I'm using this one today this is the stay matte from Rimmel I think this one costs um, less than 40 ringgit uh, and it's a little bit shiny for dry skin you can still use this one because it's a little bit shiny it's a bit glowy I really like it if you have uh, dry skin and if you don't like it to be too glowy in the t-zone you can use some loose powder and just dab it um, slowly or softly on the t-zone and you are all set uh, but I really like this it's um, it's not too matte and um, it says here up to 12 hours natural shine control I don't think so uh, but it does stay on for a while I really really like it for that I don't use my um, makeup for a long period of time because I'll take off all of my makeup before I do my prayers you guys can try it out if you want to this is very it's much cheaper at the drugstore compared to other um, other brands like um, like Revlon or Simplicity oh, expensive um, L'Oreal um, and then Majolica Majorca oh my god it's a Korean brand it's still expensive. I think it's a Korean brand. Or is it Taiwanese? Um, but it's still expensive. Um, this one is cheaper. It says here for a fresh matte finish with chamomile to help calm, cucumber to help clarify and cotton to help control shine. Talc free, oil free, paraben free and fragrance free. If you want to have a more natural finish application, use your fingers with it. Um, it doesn't pile on a lot. Just make sure that you, when you put it on your fingers, rub it together and then dab it into your um, skin so that you have a very nice natural finish uh, to the look. Love this stuff. I would highly recommend if you have an oily skin or if you have a, a normal to dry or dry skin or oily or um, combination skin, oily combination skin which is oily and dry skin which I have I would highly recommend this sometimes you can get deals for Rimmel check it out in Watson or Guardian for some deals on the stay matte there's not much of a deal in Malaysia I can't really get like a BOGO 50% off uh, no unless they have a warehouse sale um, for example, if Guardian or Watson would have a warehouse sale, you can get it for cheaper, but 
sometimes it's the old products that they have it on the at the warehouse sale just not good the other thing is that um, this is a sheer to um, medium coverage so if you have a lot more scars I would highly suggest to get a concealer for your scars because this doesn't really cover the scars at all I've not tried out the stay matte concealer uh, but I used my um, Studio Finish Concealer from MAC and it goes very well with this. So this is a sheer to medium coverage. This one on the other hand, this is a medium to full coverage foundation. Very good value for money. Use very little of it and it covers your whole face. Love this stuff. If I have a really bad skin day, uh, very bad breakouts, or even the chicken pox nightmare, I use this one. Love this. It covers a lot. Um, this is mineral enriched. I use a brush a lot more rather than my fingers with this because this one, it's, um, it's a bit hard to blend. Um, if you use your fingers, it's very hard to blend. This foundation is quite buildable with a brush. This is really good. In terms of 16 hour transfer resistant wear, like I said just now, I don't wear my makeup for a long time, but this does um, stay on. However, this goes very shiny, very fast. I don't know why it goes very shiny, very fast in my T-zone um, as well as on my cheeks. Um, very shiny. You know, just to control that shine, you take the Clean and Clear oil blotter and it'll be fine. Um, but I love this stuff too. I use it, like I said just now, on days that I have really bad breakouts. I love this too. If I'm not mistaken, this too costs under 40 ringgit and is very cheap. You use very little of it. Love, love, love removal stuffs. The next thing is the Super Babish Balm from Skin79. This one it says whitening, UV protecting, SPF 25 and wrinkle free. It is a bleach balm. Um, it is a beauty balm, which means that as you put it on, it will help your skin, which is what I wanted because I want to. I just don't want to wear the foundation as the foundation just to even out my skin tone. I want it to have a multifunction, have some SPF as well as help to um, take care of my skin in a way. These two doesn't have any SPF in it, but this one does. This one has SPF 25, which is not that much. Uh, you still have to use some other uh, sunblock on top of this. But I love this. It has a dewy finish, which means that it has sheer to medium coverage. If you have um, some scarring or some um, discoloration, it is buildable. You can just um, put on an one extra layer on top of that discoloration and it would help to reduce the appearance of it not to say that it diminishes it altogether no you'll use less concealer with it this is buildable to um, full coverage uh, foundation it does have like a gray cast when you use it but after a while um, it kind of blends into your skin tone which is a bit weird <laughs> but um, I love it very handy because it has this small pump right here you have more control on the amount of foundation you want you want a sheer coverage you can just pump a little bit and then just put it on if you want a full coverage just pump it all the way or build it up this one cost I think 69 ringgit or 65 ringgit for the 40 grams uh, this is made in Korea. Love this stuff. Um, I would highly suggest um, if you have like um, um, 
if you want to share to medium coverage and build it up to a uh, full coverage you get this one this is a multifunction foundation big question do i see any improvement in my skin not at the moment i do see my skin is a bit lightened but I don't know whether it's due to this or due to the fact that I'm using another whitening um, range from Skin79 or from the Naruko uh, brightening and firming. I don't know, but I hope that I see a little bit of improvement from this. Um, it's a little bit too early to say, but I love this stuff. Um, I've been using it for a few times. So that's it. That's an overall view of my uh, drugstore foundations. I don't see any need to um, buy a drugstore foundation from other brands because I'm very happy with my Rimmel foundations. I'm very happy with my Skin79 uh, BB Cream. So I don't feel the need to um, stray away from these two brands. Um, I don't intend to get the Revlon Color Stay because I heard that it's a bit hard to blend. I'm very happy with Rimmel's stuff. Probably I'll check out uh, the Match Perfection uh, that just came out on the Rimmel. I'm quite pleased with that because we are very early to get it. I hope that you like this video. I hope that this video has been very helpful for you. And to those who are wondering whether they should buy the Rimmel uh, foundation or not, I hope that it has been helpful for you as well. Um, before I go, this is my grey and uh, purple look. If you guys are interested to know how I did this makeup, just let me know if you want the tutorial on it and I will do it one of these days. That's it for now. Take care and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye! Don't forget to comment, thumbs up and subscribe. You'll make my day. Bye!